What's up everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good afternoon and uh, welcome back to another video in which we'll cover BNB, the main token of Binance Exchange, of course, um, which I wanted to cover for, for multiple reasons. I mean, first of all, if you, if, you, if you look at the technicals, they've been amazing. Since Tuesday, the 25th of October, we've started a huge uptrend uh, together with the market. The market has been quite bullish or at least steady since that date uh, too. Uh, but we've gone up by almost 30 uh, percent and and with that you have to realize that bnb is a, is, is a huge token uh it's it, it has a, a it's number four actually which is absolutely crazy if you compare that with uh with how it used to be i still remember back in 2017 when they were really pushing bnb uh on on binance um i never thought that it, it, it would be able to become this big but it's uh it, it has i mean and and uh, deserved i think as well Apart from that, BNB is a very strong hold. It, it's uh, compared to like, if you compare BNB to, to Bitcoin, uh, which I want to do right here. So how much uh, Bitcoin is, is one BNB? You can see that that's growing and that, that has been growing for a while now, I think. Uh, yeah, so one BNB has, has become worth more in, in Bitcoin for, for over a year now. Very strong token. Um, a great hold actually in, in a bear market, or so it seems. Um, and we're pretty strong right now. I'm, I'm not necessarily sure why. I think it's multiple reasons. I think it's, uh, it's part of uh, BNB being added to some indexes that were being bought uh, heavily uh, that Binance released. Binance, of course, is a, um, is, is a, is, is a huge player still. Binance also participated in the Twitter acquisition, so that could be bullish for Binance uh, for all, in, in the long term. That, that's all true, all right? So the fundamentals are, are, are just strong for, for, for Binance and therefore for BNB. Um, excuse me, there's, there's something in my eye. Right now, though, if we take a look at the technicals, which, uh, which, which is important too, I think, um, you can see that we're, we're kind of struggling with the $350 level. You can also see that we precisely touched the lower bounds of this key level right here. Um, but, but even though we found resistance there, we dropped down and right now we're already almost challenging it again. Um, apart from that, you can see that we were first struggling with 338. We've broken above that. So the technicals are absolutely bullish too. So, you know, I, I think it's just a matter of time uh, before we get to our price target. So we'll, we'll either uh, find resistance at 353 again and then break above that or we'll break above it today or tomorrow, which I think is a little bit more likely. Um, and then we'll get up to our price target at 370 and 375, which is actually quite a strong level. All right, that's quite a strong uh, resistance level. Uh, for example, if you, if you take a look at the daily, you can see that it's pretty strong. Even uh, 3, 362 and stuff is pretty strong, but I, I think we'll get a little bit higher to, towards that uh, 1.618 FIB. Um, and there, I mean, if, if you're breaking above that, above 3, 375, you're, you're going all the way up to 4, 400. So, I'm not sure if I, I expect us to break above that. I think we can get there, but from there, unfortunately, or yeah, it, it depends on how you look at it. But from there, I, I do expect that we'll drop down a little bit and, and consolidate before uh, going up again to, towards 400 if the market uh, remains bullish uh, or at least relatively bullish as it is right now. Um, so yeah, very, very strong BNB, both fundamentally and technically on the short term. So I would definitely, uh, well, if, if you're holding it, I would definitely hold it a li little bit longer at least. Uh, but for now, that's my, that's my full take on BNB, the news around it, fundamentals and the technicals. So if you do have any questions, as always, let me know. But for now, take care and bye.